First question is from C Greenwood 32. What are the golden rules of training for performance? Oh, that's, that's a, a good question. question golden for sure. rules. Yeah, Justin. Give yeah. us a golden rule. Well, I mean, the the biggest thing I think that I've adjusted with athletes was to really, you know, pay close attention to like how your your joints um like the, like what your range of motion is, the integrity, like it, the movement quality in general. I think that uh, we we kind of leap past all of the the prerequisites towards training, and I think there's just so much attention there that needs to be had because these sports require so much out of our bodies. I mean, we're moving all different directions. We have to stabilize. We have to like provide power when we need it. So it's like so much you have to build upon that, that if you haven't put the work in there, I would immediately drive them back into like quality of movement and how we need to address each individual joint specifically. I think another golden rule that we have to list because we, I think we revisit this every, every week when we get a quaw is nothing is going to make you better at playing your sport than playing your sport. Yeah, in that fact, I would name that rule, skill is the most important thing. Yeah. Right. Skill over anything else. Because That's it, got to be the most it's important. It's a very, I mean, every week we have a question related to sports and also looking yeah. good and people Should ask, I practice my sport more or should I work out more? Yeah. Right. Yes. And it's all, if you want to be good at your sport, nothing is going to make you better at that than, than actually That's great. So sport. I would say definitely skill over anything else is always number one. And then when we get to physical performance, Justin said a good one. Mobility is very important. Lack of mobility is one of the number one reasons why people hurt themselves and then you can't play your sport at all. And another one I would add is that strength for most sports or for most physical pursuits is the foundational mm -hmm. physical pursuit. Meaning, what does that mean? That means if you get stronger, you generally improve your performance in other metrics. You can't say this for other metrics. Like if I make my speed better, my endurance better, my agility better, I don't necessarily get better in everything else. But with strength, we tend to. Now, this doesn't mean you just focus on strength and you ignore everything else. But it does mean that strength is very important. And it's more important the younger you are and the newer you are. As you get older, things get more fine-tuned. What I mean by older is more experienced, not older like you know mm -hmm. I'm, I'm in my 40s and 50s, but rather I've been playing for years and years. Uh, then it's less important. But when you first get started, you want this kind of general strength because it's going to help you a you lot. You need a real strong base to work with. Yeah. And, that, and that's why you guys brought up skills. Like it, It's hand in hand. You never uh, lose sight of, of skills training. That that has to evolve as you get stronger as well. Otherwise, uh, you know, there's there's going to be a big disparity between the two. Once And this happened to me even just focusing completely on getting bigger, getting stronger. But now that affected my actual movement and my performance on the field because I wasn't keeping maintaining up my skill. Now, what about like the said principle, right? Like, I mean, what you guys, yeah. what you train is what you're going to get, right? So if you have somebody who is trying, has a very specific sport, uh, there's obvious specific movements that carry over that are going to benefit you versus doing world general. I know you made the point, mm -hmm. general strength is the foundation, but then after that point, if you're a, a, a tennis player trying to get good versus a football player, right. the, the specific exercises that you are doing is going to be completely different. A, a lineman doesn't require as much rotational strength, let's right. say, uh, like a tennis player is going yeah. to. Right? I'd say the, the more advanced in competition you are and the more experienced, the more important that is. Yeah. Right? If I'm training a, a new athlete, general strength is going to give them the most bang for their buck. But when you're training someone who's been playing for a long time, you want to start to focus more on specific types of strength. And mobility plays an even bigger role right. because as you get bigger, faster, you're playing against people that are better, mobility becomes oftentimes the difference between a winning team and a losing team. Typically, I mean, if you're at your peak performance, that's what's going to carry you, you know, and, and, and like provide longevity in your career is to really address those things. And I yeah. think that's why I brought that up first is because it was something that was completely like breezed over. Like we'd have like a barely even a warm up, and then we'd get into like this really intense mm -hmm. workout or, you know, intense practices and, um, it, and people were dropping like flies. And, and the reason being is, is there just wasn't that quality control yeah. and attention that direction. Well, to that point, another golden rule I think is that the, the real work is done in the off season. 
Mm-hmm. So I think there's the, that that was I like that, uh, yeah. the same. I mean, I used to talk about even competitors on stage. That's what I'd tell them. And I think athletes are the same way. Like the real work is done in the off season as far as how hard you're training and getting after it. Mm-hmm. Once you get into season play, you're just or, trying to prevent yourself from getting hurt. That's right. Like the, the, then it's more about protecting you than it is progressing. Mm-hmm. And so, and it becomes all skilled mostly at that time and taking care of yourself. So the real work is done in the off season.